arrived at Tobinico Station and we just got our yuba manju, which is like a specialty here. So do you want to break it and we could try? <gasps> wow. So we finally had the yuba manju. It was surprisingly a little bit salty. It was so good. I think we're gonna have to get another one when we leave. But now we're walking around the station and we are going to get some, I think, vegetarian namen. And it is so pretty here. We're already talking about how we should possibly move here. So we finished our vegetarian naman, which was insane. And now we've just continued walking and we're about to head to all the tourist attractions. We're gonna see the bridge and some shrines. Right across the bridge, we entered the World Heritage Site of Nikko. This complex is composed of Shinto shrines and Buddhist temples constructed around the 17th century. The property is arranged on mountain slopes, so there is no shortage of breathtaking views in nature. Due to centuries of conservation and preservation of religious practices linked to the site, this property is considered sacred in Japan. Hello friends, so we're finished with our first day in Nico. We're back in the hotel. After we checked in, we went out to dinner. And the place we're staying at, wait, this is kind of loud. I have some Starbucks holiday music in the background. <laughs> But the place we're staying at is really, really cute. I'll show you guys some footage of it in the morning when it's a little bit brighter. Also, look at what Bubby picked out. <laughs> it's like as big as my head. I guess we'll have this for breakfast. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>
Hello friends! It is day two of us here in Nico. Today we're gonna go to the, I think it's called Kegon Waterfalls. It's like the famous waterfall here. It's supposed to be exquisite fall foliage. Before we head out, I thought I'd quickly show you guys the hotel we're staying at. So let me give you an overview of the room. Japanese unit bath. And over here, there's two twin-size beds, but we just shoved them together to make one ginormous bed and some storage. And that's about it for the room. Next, I'm heading downstairs to show the common space in this hotel, which was absolutely gorgeous. It's lined with plenty of windows, making the space nice and bright. It was the perfect cozy cabin in the mountains we were looking for. And this is the area we were enjoying our coffee and breakfast in earlier. But here I'm about to take you to my favorite part of this hotel, and that is of course the onsen. We only stayed here two nights, but we managed to use the onsen five times during our stay. It was truly one of the highlights of our trip. So there are two separate onsens, and each one has a changing room where you can strip down. And in case you're shy about being naked with strangers, luckily these onsens are completely private and tattoo friendly. today oh my goodness so we're gonna head to the bus stop so we could go to Kegon Falls so we made it to the top but the winding roads actually killed us anyway we found the ropeway so hopefully we can get on those now yay so those were the roads that we were going on i'm still feeling quite nauseous but hey a waterfall <laughs> I'm trying to get some aesthetic pics of our evi yubamaki <laughs> cheers Wow, this is kind of beautiful. <laughs> Well, let's see the other side too. lunch at the Zen Resort Nico. That was incredible. 
I mean, I feel like the view kind of spoke for itself. I would go just for the view, but the food was really good. So we're walking along the lake and now we're gonna get a close up view of the waterfall. guys sorry it is so bright after a very windy bus ride that was so intense now we are heading to this abyss it's this really famous trail here in Nico, and the place that we're staying is quite close to it so we're just walking there right now to check it out before the sun sets Bubby pointed out that we actually have to watch out for bears. So this will be neat. <laughs> Getting a bit darker now, but we managed to find all the Buddhas. And it's right next to this gorgeous river. This is always the saddest part of the trip, the final onsen. We walked so much on this trip and like my muscles are aching. So the best thing is to soak in some nice hot onsen water. I'd say overall, this was a phenomenal trip. I think that a lot of the places that we saw like exceeded my expectations. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what your favorite part about this Nico adventure was. And until next time, bye-bye. Thank you.